Hi there, my name is Colin Ramratton and I'm here we're at CES 2020. Today we're showcasing the STM32WL, brand new, first product on the market, true Loro SOC on the market. STN Semtech, uh, three years ago, we did an announcement that we were going to partner and here's the part that, uh, that came out of it, the STM32WL. What I'm going to show you today is I'm going to show you a multicast demo that shows you how the, the multicast LoRaWAN network works as well as the capabilities of a Class C device on the multicast network. So right here we have two e-paper displays with two STM32WL Nucleo boards. We have a Microsoft Surface with a front-end GUI. The back-end of this is Actility, so Actility is a, a, a network provider. And then from there we're also connected to a multi-tech gateway, so a multi-tech uh, gateway which is on the LoRaWAN network. So right now, what we're seeing is the, the original price. So you can see a book here for $15.50. Then we have a, an umbrella here for $21.99. What I'm going to do is, if I want to, say, put a discount on these or change the price, I put a value of 20. So I just chose a value of 20 arbitrarily. I do update. And if you give it a minute, what will happen is the actual, the lower one network receives the packets. It sends the commands through the multicast right to the, de the boards here. And you can see that the e-paper display has updated with the new price. So again, the STM32W, brand new on the market, LoRa capable, so that's LoRa modulation capable, Sigfox modulation capable, as well as FSK uh, modulation capable. So really, not just for LoRa, but really for all types of sub gigahertz types of systems. If we look at the device, we have lots of cost savings in this because instead of two devices, now we have one device. And really, that, that saves a lot of cost from having two separate devices. We do continue to have our STM32 open development platform uh, support on the STM32WL. We, inside the device, we've integrated an STM32L4 Cortex-M4 device, so we maintain that ultra-low power capability of the STM32 family. In the single core version, which is what we've released uh, at CES this year, we've included some security options, and I'll go into that a little bit later. 256K flash and 64 kilobytes of SRAM uh, is what we have today, and we always have a 10-year guarantee on our parts, right? And that 10-year guarantee is updated every year, so you can be sure that you design something in, we'll have it for 10 years. If we look at the device a little bit closer, again, Cortex-M4 at 48 megahertz, in terms of security, we have PCROP, which is a uh, secure enclave area in the SRAM. We have public key acceleration for private public key security, true random number generator, and an AES uh, encryption block. We have our, uh, our accelerator, which is our caching for, uh, for our devices. And we do have standardized kind of uh, peripherals for our STM32WL, which is ADC, temp sensor, timers, SPIs, you know, just kind of the, the, the general stuff you would expect in an, a, a, uh, an IoT device. When we look at the power, when the device is running, it's 63 microamp per megahertz, which is very good in considering uh, the type of device it is. 1.1 microamp megahertz with full context, so we can keep all the SRAM and have all of the context there with 1.1 microamps. That's key for an IoT device that's battery powered. When it's in shutdown mode, less than 40 nanoamps. One of the big features in this device is uh, if you know and if you've used SendFet devices in the past, for the two different uh, types of um, frequency ranges, the low band and the high band, they were two different SemTech devices. What we've done with our STM32WL is we've integrated both of them into one device. So we can do plus 14 and plus 22. So plus 14 for the 433, plus 22 for the 915. So really, truly kind of integrating everything into one device. 1 1.8 to 3.8, uh, 3.6 voltage drain. Uh, DC-DC capable, so that means that you can run the uh, core off of a DC-DC regulator, really saving that power. Or if you want, again, we do have the LDO um, uh, capable uh, on this device, just like any other STM32. Minus 40 to plus 105 temperature range is what we have here. As we've released, three different variants with one single package option. And this is what we have today for the STM32WL. Thank you again, and if you need more information, please visit ST.com.